Hey YouTube, I'm back again with another video. Sorry it's been so long. Been trying to upload some shorts uh, along the way um, just to kind of keep uh, something going on the channel, some content. But um, anyway, we're gonna do a fish room tour um, for the basement stuff. Uh, probably uh, will not have the saltwater tanks this time uh, in the video, but um, yeah, uh, before we get going, I want to let you guys all know Black Friday's coming up, Small Business Saturday and Cyber Monday, all on the same weekend, kind of Thanksgiving weekend. And uh, I'll be doing another sale like I always do on the website, AquaticSupportSystems.com. If you're new to this channel, um, check out AquaticSupportSystems.com. It's uh, the business that I run um, that sells uh, Southern Delight fish food, um, other types of fish food, other aquarium products, uh, shrimp foods and shrimp products too. I'm going to be doing the best sale of the year as far as percentage wise goes. Uh, it's not going to get any better than this one ever. Um, uh, it'll run Thursday, probably Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, that's usually what I do. And Monday, uh, 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 what do you call it? Cyber Monday. Um, but yeah, there'll be some good discounts. Um, I'll have some special deals, hopefully, and uh, we'll do some uh, really good deals on the Green Pleckle plushies. They've gotten really popular lately, and um, quite frankly, I've got too many in stock um, as far as what I ordered, and uh, I don't want them sitting around, so I'm gonna put them on sale um, for, a, for a heck of a deal. But. You can get the Southern Delight fish food, the regular size bottles, the uh, the, the bulk bottles. Um, I'll have uh, Shrimp King Complete, uh, probably for a really good deal for those of you that are into shrimp keeping. That's uh, probably my best selling product for shrimp food. Um, but yeah, um, enough about that. Uh, just check out AquaticSupportSystems.com next week. Um, and the sale will be announced on there. If you're on my emailing list, uh, I'll uh, I'll get something out. To, you'll you'll get something in the email too regarding the sales. So let's get on with the tour. All right, so um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, take a tour of the fish room here. I'm just gonna kind of give you a uh, uh, expanded view or whatever from right when you come down the stairs. But uh, yeah, let's I guess get started with the Oscars. Um, Still got all four of them. They're doing real well, real healthy. They're growing like crazy, like Oscars do. Um, got uh, seven or eight clown loaches in there, and then a bunch of uh, convicts, um, a nice jewel pair. These Oscars have just continued to really uh, been fun for me. Got some really nice patterns on them too, these ones that I got. I got real lucky when I ordered these. I ordered these, uh, you know, super small. Um, and uh, just been real happy with them so far. Um, they're crazy eaters too. I haven't, uh, I'm doing this video in the morning, so I haven't done my normal morning feeding yet. I purposely did that so one, I could show you some feedings, and two, um, it just gets the fish out a little bit more um, so that you can see them. But a uh, little sneak peek on what we'll look at next. Um, so why don't I do a little feeding while we're working here. Um, I'm going to do some Southern Delight Power Feed, which uh, I feed that and large cichlid to all these big cichlids in my fish rooms here. This might get a little wet and crazy here. Um, these guys go absolutely bonkers. They still try to jump out of the water and everything, so here we go. I put a lot in this tank because of all the loaches and everything. Uh, there's uh, vikers down there, birchers, bitchers, whatever you want to call them. See there, it's just some basic polypterus, uh, synagogus. But yeah, um, as you can see, that's quite a frenzy. This is a 300 gallon tank, by the way. It's the six foot version of a 300 gallon deep dimension. So it's uh, got a, what is it, a three foot? three foot uh, depth from front to back. Here's a couple of new offerings from the uh, Green Pleco plushie line. I got two different Oscars, put them on there. Um, so if you're looking for something new, uh, if you like collecting these plushies, there's all the Southern Delight stock back there too. Um, 
those plushies will be available. Um, I'll show you more of those later too. But anyway, that's that tank. Up here is Cheeto's tank. He's still alive and kicking. Slow for his age. Likes to hang out over by this pot. This female here, she's doing real good. Nice nuchal hump on her. But uh, yeah, here's, here's Cheeto. He'll come out to eat, I'll feed him. Got three of the Red Hook Silver Dollars in there, a bunch of convicts, uh, I think a couple hundred and Red Points maybe too. Um, let's go ahead and put some Southern Delight in this tank. Power feed again. Some of these fish, you gotta back up to get them to eat a lot of times. Um, there's Cheeto out and about a little bit now. If you're new to this channel, Cheeto is a Midas cichlid or an Amphilophus citronellus. One of my favorite fish, the, the Midas is, and Cheeto is my favorite fish in my whole fish room, just his coloration and everything. He's getting pretty old. He's got a, a split fin in back now, and I don't think it's ever going to heal. His um, coloration isn't quite as bright as it once was, but it's still looking real nice. Um, just an old fish, which is weird because I've got a, a brother of his that was born at the same time, uh, which I'll show you in a little bit, and um, he's still as spunky and you know, crazy as ever. Um, yeah show you the, uh, sorry, I'm trying to move something across the floor at the same time. Um, the uh, Hadiensis tank, this male Hadiensis is still continuing just to look awesome, uh, continuing to grow. There's one of the females and then the other female in this tank. He still spawns with both of them regularly. I did pull some fry recently and uh, still got him. I haven't grown too much, but I'll show you those at the end of the video here. But uh, this guy, he's just quite the specimen, and I really enjoy looking at him and seeing him in the fish room. I'll go ahead and uh, give these guys a little Southern Delight fish food as well. shy for whatever reason. Usually he's front and center and going nuts at feeding time. Uh, anyway, here's the umbies. This is Optimus and the female matrix. These are uh, F1 um, real Magdalena umbies. Um, by the way, these are two 180 gallon tanks. A lot of people always ask what size tanks they are, so I try to say that in the video. I always forget though. This is a 300 gallon, eight foot acrylic tank. I'm not sure what the footprint front to back and top to bottom is, but um, it's a nice size tank. Really, really like this tank. I recently did scratch it a couple times by accident. Um, there was always some scratches on it since I've gotten it, but um, yeah, um, let's go ahead and get some close ups here. How thick this guy is. It's hard to always really see and get a good appreciation of it on camera, but um, he's just quite the quite the guy. He's been picking on his female matrix a lot lately. You can see she's got some dings on her. She's hanging out by the pot a lot of the time, but she will. Um, this guy's getting mad over here. I'll show him in a little bit. Um, but she she does come out too and she swims around but right now she's in the pot um, This is gonna be kind of hard to feed Because I got to lift up these tops um, I'm just gonna See if I can't hear what I'll do I got a little Tripod flexible tripod that I'm gonna stick on this chair and see if this works Hopefully it will. If not, oops. All right, yeah. So I'll go ahead and get these 
ready to eat. Then we got her to come out too. As you can see, there's a couple smaller umbies that are just deformed and have bad fins that have made it through spawns over the years, um, and I've just never pulled them out. But um, yeah, they're just kind of living in there. I'm sure they'll get killed by at some point by these guys. Um, you know, I, I can't sell them because they're deformed and not looking real good. There's two about the size of this one, and then there's one or two smaller ones. Um, He's the only one that came out right now. See, you can see she is dinged up. He's been he's been picking at her. But then we got the the other Midas over here. This is Cheeto's brother. He goes absolutely bonkers most days. Um, he's a, a real nice looking specimen too. And then this female, she's she's nothing special, um, but uh, she's. She's got a lot of attitude as well, but coloration-wise, I mean, she's nothing special. She's just kind of in a light orange with some white color most of her life. Um, the white on her did kind of come later, the piebald, whatever you want to call it, the marbling. Um, when I first got her, she was more like this female here, almost solid orange, but just a light, light orange, not the nice dark orange like you see on both, both of these males. Uh, and uh but anyway they're doing good in here i've also got um some jewels some clown loaches um some uh some bikers bitchers um and a big pleco um one of the lepterists down here um ornate and senegal i think uh ornate Oh, I always forget the names of, the, of them. But anyway, I've got a couple different types. Sometimes they do come out here when I feed, um, but they do like to hide a lot. Um, I was surprised I saw, oh, here's one right here. Just came out. I'm surprised at this one, how much growth all of a sudden I've seen in him recently. He's a good seven inches long now, so that's kind of fun. But anyway, we'll give these guys some power feed too. Sometimes I put some smaller pellets in too to make sure that the uh, that the loaches and smaller fish get something. Um, so I use Southern Delight Small Cichlid or else. Right now I've got, I had a, I don't know why I have a, oh, I used to have some goldfish, that's why. I got a bottle of goldfish that I'm trying to use up. It's a small pellet and it's got all of the same stuff that Small Cichlid has in it and, a, and one additional pellet, I think. So sometimes I just throw in a little of that too. And uh, then you can see uh, that'll draw out um, some of these bottom feeder type fish more. Um, look at these guys, these, are, these guys have been looking really nice lately. Um, it's, it's fun to see them because you don't get to see them all the time. Um, loaches are in there. Um, I don't know. There's probably, they're not all out now, but there's, there's a good, probably eight to 10 loaches in there. Maybe there's another biker back in here. Pitcher, bircher, bicker, whatever you want to call them. They like to hide. I think they're more nocturnal if I'm not mistaken. Then down below here, we've got the Red Devil Tank, Amphilophus labiatus versus Amphilophus citronellus. Um, by the way, these are both 210 gallon tanks, old oceanic tanks. And when I say tanks, I don't mean aquarium, but I mean like an army tank. These things are heavy, they're thick. I think the bottom glass is an inch, but uh, yeah, they're, uh, they're durable, awesome tanks. Um, in here we've got a bunch of jewels and then a bunch of loaches and some more bikers um, and then the red devil pair. Here's the male with his nice big lips there. Female's kind of chilling right there right now. They know it's about time to eat. 
Um, first, why don't I do this? Um, I'm gonna put in some those small pellets first to draw out every one of you at the bottom. By the way, too, I just replaced the tops on these tanks. If you ever need new tops and don't want to spend a bunch of money, go to well in Minnesota here. We go to, we there's a company called Menards. It's not all over the country, but in the Midwest, um, these are greenhouse uh, what is it corrugated plastic coverings or something. Really good, really easy to use. The only problem is they sell them in four by eight sheets, so you need a vehicle um, big enough to to carry them. So that should get the jewels going crazy. The jewels, when I got these from a local guy, they were just pure red, but they're not colored up here. I don't know if it's because they're just uh, frightened of the of the red devils or what the situation is. But um, you know, all the super ruby red jewels that I had, um, blood red, whatever you want to call them, in, in all the other tanks, they stayed red. Like look at this guy here, and he's not even fully colored up right now, but that's a male. Um, anyway, um, let's get some power feed going on in here too. Let's see if we get the mail over here to eat. Yeah, I don't know. Those of you that do fish room videos, it always seems like when uh, you'd want to do a video, some of the fish don't always want to come out. And that's what's going on here. This pair, both of them, they just like to really hang out over in the flower pot. They spawn a ton. Um, and the spawns never make it. They're not good parents. They always they always eat. But there's a load of clown loaches going after it over here. They're always fun to watch. I just have always liked clown loaches um, in my tanks. Here's a, one of the bikers down here. So I always forget. There's the ornate, and that 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 bicher is a. Um, I'll remember as soon as the video starts up. I think it starts with a D. But anyway, there's a few more of those in this tank. Um, this guy came back out. Let's do a close up of him. It's up above, but. Anyway, so that's that. Um, just a couple other last minute tanks. Decided to try to something try something new here. I've got uh, 20 angel fish. They're koi angels. They're not real good High quality as far as cover goes. They're a quality fish. That's for sure. These uh, were from uh, uh, My good friend Tom um, TM aquatics they came from his fish room um, a local guy here Fernando um, Got them all from Tom and then I, I I picked up 20 from Fernando, so, um, but yeah, they're doing real good. I just thought it'd be something fun to try some angel fish, and uh, I've always liked the way koi angels look. These don't have a ton of orange on them, but for my first try of, with angels, I thought I would just um, give them a shot. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and feed them right now with the Southern Delight Nano Krill. It's a, it's a super small, it's the smallest pellet the Southern Delight makes, it's 0.5 um, millimeter. Um, and uh, I think that's what it is. Say right here. Where does it say the size? Microbytes. Well, anyway, take my word for it. Um, and also in here is, you can see some of them right back there, is the Hadeensis grow outs or fry. I pulled a few and put them in this breeder box too, which I'm gonna pull the rest of them because I just don't want. I mean, the angels don't have a big enough mouth right now, but. Um, Let's get a little nano krill. Whoops. You can see the angelfish love the nano krill. If you're looking for something to feed smaller cichlids, angels, um, I don't know. There's a lot of, you know, dwarf cichlids. Nano krill and small cichlid is a super good fish food for them. A lot of people, you know, just use your basic flakes and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, can't beat pellets uh, regardless of the size and then I've still got these two shrimp tanks uh, very limited on shrimp now but this is the blue bolt tank um, I've just gone through a period where probably neglect I haven't done the best taking care of them but I'm down to just a handful of shrimp left in both tanks but I got a ton of nice plants in there I got uh, all this hooker I see moss 
and then some boosts and some Anub different types of Anubias and stuff. If you're looking for this Hooker Ace Moss, I believe that's how you pronounce it. It's pretty rare, um, but you can see I got a ton of it and I'm looking to clear it out, so I'm, I'm selling it for a pretty good price. If you want to um, email me at uh, brian at aquaticsupportsystems.com or if you know me on Facebook or something, um, you can message me there if you're looking for some. I'll ship it, um, but yeah, um, we'll, we'll hook you up. Um, this Anubius here, I think this is just regular Nana or maybe it's Nana Petite, I forget. It's growing real well. Look at this monster clump of boost here. And then some other types, some Anubius in there as well. But yeah, that's really about it for now. Um, like I say, um, we'll do a Black Friday. Oh, I was gonna show you, here's some a bunch of different of the, um, of the plushies. Um, they just had a bunch new come out, so I've got a bunch of different betas. I'm um, two salt waters now, a flame angel and a coral beauty. Um, here's Oscar. I showed you that before. Another beta, another beta. Just real cool looking designs here. Green beta. Um, yeah, you can see them all on the website. And then you got your your plex, plecos that they've always had. There's a long fin, there's some royals back there. Here's a royal. Um, Sunshine, that's one of the better sellers. The goldfish are super good sellers too. Um, a lot of people like those, but yeah. Um, we'll have good deals on those for Black Friday. There's one that glows in the dark, the Green Phantom. Uh, this is one of the best sellers that I've had since I started carrying these. It's the red and blue pleco, or I mean, beta. Anyway, I don't want to see all that stuff. So, Black Friday, um, we'll be starting next Thursday on Thanksgiving. We'll uh, have super good deals. Make sure to check out aquaticsupportsystems.com. Even if you're not interested in buying anything right now, um, if you go to the website, that just really helps me out. Traffic always helps. Um, so if you could just uh, go check out the website and uh, check it out. I just noticed from across the room that there's some convict fry right here. It's funny how when you're into breeding fish and stuff, you can spot that kind of thing from a mile away sometimes. Anyway, um, that's it. I'll quit babbling here, but uh, thanks for watching. I've, gone, I've wasted over 20 minutes of your time. And uh, until next time, have a good one.